Hello, welcome pen friends. Today we're continuing on with the student pen project and today's pen is the online campus in the Fluffy Cats uh, design. So I was going to have a a vote like a poll to see which pen would be next but uh, several people mentioned this pen in the comment section of the last uh, pen report so I went with it and we'll we'll do a, a poll after this to see what will be next but um, this is a made in Germany pen um, I have done one other one the online air so we're getting kind of uh, familiar with this brand and anyway today what we're going to do is we're going to look at this pen uh, which, by the way, got an A-plus in March when I had it as a, one of my eight daily writers. And then we'll do some comparisons to the other kind of similar uh, pens in this category. And then we'll look in my journals and we'll write in my Rhodia notebook uh, together. And then we'll discuss the report, so to speak, you know, what I like and don't like about it. <clears throat> So the pen is very, very lightweight. That's one of the first things I noticed. Let's see, we've got a 15.8 with everything, you know, the ink in it, the, the cap and, and everything. And then the body itself when I write is 11 grams. So just like this, it's only 11 grams. So it's super lightweight. That's one of the first things to know. But let's look at it. Um, it does have a clip, a very thin, thin uh, clip. Let's see if I can get it get it turned so you can like see that <clears throat> very thin but it, it does have a uh, little bit of springiness to it let's see it doesn't it doesn't automatically though you have to work it from this end so there's that and then on the cap itself it says online right here and up on the finial which is kind of got a lot of detail for a pin in this category it does say Germany there and it's got the kind of uh, two-tone plastic with the, uh, the silver and then the uh, artistic cat motif here. I keep turning it to try to see where it ought to be, but it doesn't really matter how you have it. And it does turn when it's closed. Um, it, it still looks kind of cute, no matter how, so <laughs> how you put it. So clip, yeah, and uh, then the other end is just pretty standard. It's got that, that silver plastic. I am using a converter um, that I had. Let's see, whoops. I'm using a Pelican converter in it. It came with one cartridge, standard uh, cartridge. Uh, whoops, let's put the body back together. We don't need that yet. <laughs> uh, the, the main thing is the nib on this. It has a medium nib and it's super, super smooth. Um, it has just you know, kind of a small size nib. These won't be able to be changed out, I don't believe. So, and then the little feed is there. It has a rubberized or partially rubberized grip, which is, wow, I have trouble today holding things together. Slightly suggested, but not too much. Just a little bit at the top here. I wonder if you can see that the way I can just slightly and nothing on the bottom so that issue that i had uh with another pen where well i think it was a lamy abc where uh where to land no i take that back let's strike that because i just don't remember which pen i'm talking about at the moment it'll come to me there's one where it has another little groove in the bottom <clears throat> and i like that this doesn't have that because it's suggested but it, it doesn't get in my way at all and you can grip just about anywhere you want down choke down on it or anywhere in the middle and it's not too contoured so that's what i like and then it does have the plastic um grooves wow threading goodness okay <laughs> And this appears to be plastic down in there too. I wouldn't think about eyedropper in it though. I would use, I would rather use the converter or, or a cartridge. Let's see, what does that say? It's just a bunch of numbers, I guess. Okay, so that is what the pen looks. Oh, did you hear that? It makes a nice satisfying snap when it finishes uh, the, uh, there. And it is a snap cap, so it's very handy. I can see this for older students. Actually, I can, I can really visualize eight and above, but I think some younger children would do fine with this. I just don't know about the 
longevity of the materials and that's going to take a while. I've written with it for two months now and that's not long enough to talk about you know how long this may last. I don't know you know how much abuse it can take um, in the backpack or anything like that and all of my pens live in rickshaw cases so they they're not really a good example of <laughs> of you using your pens uh, in any kind of a rough way or anything like that. So let's do some comparisons. I think there's a lot to be, oh, well, yes, okay. And I did want to say that I'm using Pilot Orochizuku Sitsuji, a very beautiful uh, bright pink ink in this. And so that is part of the, <laughs> that's part of our, our issues too. Uh, such a great ink. I didn't choose to just use a cartridge or anything. <clears throat> okay. So here's our comparisons and everything got jostled. I think because when Coco made his little visit, everything just went crazy up here. Okay, we'll put it right in the middle, today's. So it is a kind of a standard size pen. And it's a little bit longer than the other online. This is the online air, the blue one right next to it. So that one's just a little tiny bit shorter. And then this is the Schneider Ray, which I've already reviewed. And this is the Fabric Steel Grip, which I felt like kind of falls in that same category or, uh, well, certainly price point and um, nib quality and all that. Okay, then over here, I may get a little confused because this is the Schneider Coed. It's a black one and it, it's kind of got that thin, um, clip so it made me think of it but I have not inked this pen up so <laughs> I don't have a lot of comparison yet with that. We will going forward. I always like to use a Lamy uh, Safari or Vista and this is a Vista to compare and then this I think I determined what this was. I think this is a Schneider Easy um, fully plastic no metal clip and then it, it also has a different nib because it's got kind of a a curved nib. I, I think some people are calling that a blade, but I've got a lot of doc, uh, documentation. I have a lot of research to do before I can say much about these two. I have not had them inked up yet. But let's go ahead and look at how the sections compare on some of these because that's one of the main things. Okay, so we'll just kind of... Yeah, I don't think we're going to need the caps. So this is the other online, and I think this pen can be, you know, uncapped for a minute or two here. And then the Ray. So the Schneider Ray, the online air, and then the Fabrica Steel Grip. And then these, this pen I haven't used yet, but it's got a very similar grip section. Schneider Coed. <clears throat> of course, Lamy Vista. All the Lamy Safari and Vista have quite a bit more of a groove in and, and a little bit, it ends up being a little bit narrower, your section. <clears throat> but I love my Lamy's. <laughs> and then the, uh, what I think is the Schneider Easy, which don't quote me yet because I just, I went onto the Schneider website and that was, that was what I determined from their website. Okay, so we've got quite a few rubber grips here. This one, this one, this one, everything except for the Lamy has kind of a rubberized grip because even this one is. So that's something to take into account if you have allergies or if a rubber grip is not for you. Um, but size-wise, then we're, we're kind of looking at it. We can see how it compares. And uh, I think that this Schneider Coed, it, it also has just a tiny little indention on the bottom. So it's very similar. Too bad I don't have a little more experience with some of these. I'll probably, soon I'll probably ink them all up at the same time and, and the heck with it, but uh, I haven't done that yet. And then this one, the Fabric Castile Grip, is rounded on the bottom. So this is very similar, the grip. I think that could help. You can probably see it better on the uh, online campus, you know, how you see those little grooves but you can feel it, the indentation on this. But uh, So it may be slightly more suggested on our today's pen, Fluffy Cats. Yeah, so th this one you could almost ignore completely that there was a section. And you can almost do that with, with today's, but it does have just a little bit. <clears throat> Probably helpful for a young person. 
or any person. <laughs> I think I better put the cap back on. I mean, I'm getting nervous there. We don't want to have it dry out. Um, so, like I said, the main thing in common is so many rubberized grips that probably help you hold the pen, but if you have an allergy, you'll have to look out for that. Okay, so there we go. Let's get into the ink journals. We have a lot to look at there. <clears throat> and we will start with a page that some of you are already familiar with, right out of my 68 GSM Tomoe River uh, primary ink journal at the, at the moment. And I've got quite a bit left, so we'll be in it for a while. So this got an A plus and I just, I really love it. It went really well with the Orochizuku Sitsu ink. The only thing was I wrote it dry and had to refill it. So that shows you, you can rightly deduce from that that I just write with it a lot. I like it a lot. So I keep picking it up and it's, it's cute, you know, um, slightly suggested grip, cartridge or converter. Yeah, I'm using a Pelican converter. Lightweight, postable. It's very postable. It's very secure. You can do whatever you want. And I have tried to do it, you know, to get it to come off and it won't. It, it's nice. You can see how that is. Very good. So I think that's nice with such a light pen. Uh, and with a writer that you might be using in school, you, you won't lose your cap as easily. You don't. And I haven't found that having it posted bothered me at all. It's so lightweight. Even though it makes it a lot longer, I don't feel it there. And I don't mind it at all. Okay, such a happy pen. I think, I still stand behind that, that probably children eight plus, generally, with some exceptions. And yes, I'm, my eye is on these online pens. I'm so glad that viewers recommended them because I just didn't know about the brand and the nibs are fantastic. And we'll see how long the bodies survive, you know. Um, they're likely to with me, though, because I'm, I'm easy on my pens. And you probably have an idea whether you're easy on your pens or not, too. Um, I guess, you know, we could give one to a child as an experiment and see what happens. <laughs> no, not yet sure about body durability. Okay, so that's, that's where we're at. Uh, but it, it wrote really, really well on this. Nice and smooth, no bleed through or anything like that. So next we have our two uh, inexpensive papers, the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart. We'll get into that. I like this paper. I'm actually thinking this might be a nice travel uh, notebook, you know, just for like really, really messy notes and jotting and stuff. Um, just because of the, the low price and the small profile of it. So here we are. And it is no bleeding, no feathering, nice and smooth on this paper. But what I liked the best was this paper held it. And we have a, a case, another paper coming up where it, it, it did bleed through, but it didn't on this 99 cent pen and gear. It's, it feels smooth on the paper and it's just a great combination. So there was that. And then on the CVS Caliber paper, oops. <laughs> If we can find the page, my fingers, okay, here it is, right here. Uh, it was equally wonderful on this paper, which is not the case with every combination. Uh, often it can feel dry or it can actually lighten it up so much. I guess we could compare the color. Um, this is a bright colored ink to begin with, so even if it did lighten it, probably wouldn't even bother me. Uh, whoops, no turn to the wrong pen. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so there's a difference in brightness of paper. The paper on the left, the pen and gear, seems brighter than this other paper, which is interesting. But uh, they're both equally good, which is very, very nice. Um, if you've worked with CVS caliber paper, then you know it doesn't work out with every single combination. You need a nice flowy wet ink um, and it, but it, CVS Caliber will handle just about anything, even some of the wetter noodler's inks and no bleed through at all. Just a, a little bit of, um, let's move that out of the way, a little bit of ghosting, which is kind of similar to Tomoe River paper, but it's great. So I, I was really happy because this is a paper I really love. I take a lot of notes from books on that paper. 
And then, oh, I guess we should have started with this one. This is the Midori paper. And I personally, I love this paper, but it needs to be a certain combination, it seems like, for me to really love it. And this was one of them. This is really good on this paper. <clears throat> yeah, nice on this paper, nice and smooth. No feathering or bleed through or anything. It, it's really well behaved. Of course, the, you've got a really wet, juicy, medium, smooth nib with a great ink. So I don't see it. You can't really go wrong except for in the cases where paper doesn't hold it because of that wetness. But it did. It did. This is Midori and I loved it. It made me want, it made me think, oh, I'm using this paper just as testing. Why am I not using this notebook for something more special? But that's silly. That's just silly. That was what it was intended for. So, okay. And next is the Campus Cook by Kokuyo, the little B-sized. Uh, yeah, everything is a little bit. Yeah, all the sizes are this way, but it's, it's approximately eight by 10, I think. <laughs> I hope I'm not telling you wrong. Okay, let's get into here. I gave it its own page because the last online pen uh, bled through and it had a, a fine juicy nib. So I figured maybe this paper might need. Now, lots of the inks combinations do okay. Like the Pelican Pelicano did okay. But let's turn back to that other online uh, one and I'll show you. So the little online air soft turquoise, soft turquoise, okay. <laughs> online being the brand air, me and the model and soft turquoise being the color. Oh my goodness. Um, that did bleed through. Not terribly but to the point where I didn't want to write on the other side so um and then this one of course is a medium nib and it's even more flowy and it did bleed through this paper but I still like it I just it wouldn't be a choice that I would make to write with that particular nib and pen uh, ink on this paper but it was it's still fun to find out and this will give me that whoops <laughs> stuff falling down from the outskirts. Okay, so I just, you know, I took some notes on it and uh, of course, super smooth nib, lightweight pen, cute art on the pen. Yeah, I mean, it, the, it got me, the cats. It really did. And I think I paid just under 20, but wow, the prices are wild on this in the United States anyway. Um, and we'll, I've got some more information on their final report card that'll help with that, but um relatively inexpensive. Well, and I say that only because it's such a great writer, because if this had any issues whatsoever with the nib, I would not think it was worth $20 because it's, it's cheap materials. It's lightweight. Um, at least that's my impression, my two month impression. <clears throat> Although I haven't, haven't broken it or, or had any kind of cracks. So I shouldn't be saying that. It has a thin clip, slightly suggested grip, no packaging. Um, but you can make a gift out of a pen just by hanging on to packaging you get, you know, throughout time. And uh, I tend to hang on to some of those kind of things. No converter is included. Rubber grip. Takes standard international cartridge and posts securely. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I like it and I like the brand in general. And if, if I come across other <clears throat> online uh, pen models, I will... I already have like a positive feeling about their nibs. So I've had this pen ink since March 1st. Okay, it never dried up. It never, it was always totally reliable. So that's interesting too. Highly recommend this pen if you can find it under $20. Yeah, well, that's, you know, and you may want to pay more because you like it. And that's fine too, because it writes so good. But, okay, let's see if we can uh, write together on Rhodia 80 GSM paper. Like It's like a... Oh, I used to call this graph paper, and now I think they call it grid or something. <clears throat> Maybe I ought to turn this just for this. Try to... <laughs> oh, dear. Try not to make you seasick. Okay, so this is the online campus. I had a lot of problems with the name of the pen because it's listed so funny on, on Amazon. It said ergonomic and all this other stuff, but Campus, according to their website, is the actual model name. Um, Fluffy Cats. 
in medium and we have <laughs> let's get it over here so we can see it pilot roshizuku okay this is very smooth on this paper so it's suji and it is super smooth let's do a little smear test yeah it's, it's wet it's a wet writer and it's just wonderful so let's see Messy writing. Nice. Okay. So let's do a little scribbling. Um, it's kind of a way to see whether it, you know, how it, and I, you know, I was, I was noticing. I don't know that it needs to be like, uh, you know, helter skelter. I'm not sure how you're supposed to actually do the Pierre Gustafson test, but uh, the world famous one that uh, pen friend, Wasky Squirrel talks about, but this keeps up and it keeps up with my fast writing, which I really like too. So whatever they're doing for the feed and everything, it's, it's very nice. Okay. Yep. Um, I mean, I've written on just about everything with it. And I think, I mean, to my knowledge, that's the only paper that it bled through for me was just the campus one. And it wasn't hideous or anything. Most people would have just taken something on the other side that wouldn't bleed back through and been fine writing on the other side. But Okay, so now we got to straighten this out because that'll drive me bonkers. Um, let's look at the report card, so to speak. Let's look at that and see if I could consolidate thoughts and not forget a bunch of stuff. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> so I bought mine from Amazon and I remember paying right around $20, but then I've seen the price go up even higher, but direct on their site, it, this is the listed price. And I'm not sure how that compares to US, but um, it looks lower yet it might not be when you do the, or it may be, I need to look into that, but <clears throat> I'm not sure. So it had a medium nib and this was the pretty ink using a Pelican converter. So uh, we'll get to that, but that's one of my little pet peeves. And you can use standard uh, international cartridges. Plastic body with that rubberized kind of grip. And I can't be sure absolutely what that's made of, but it feels rubbery. So I'd be careful if I had an allergy. Um, and then the length capped is five and a half inches or 14 centimeters. And then unposted, it's 12 and a half centimeters or uh, almost five inches, five and seven eighths. Very nice size. You can write with it either way, unposted or not, but I love that it posts securely because then I don't really have to grip it in my other hand, you know, like not being afraid of losing it. <clears throat> oh, I didn't get the grip diameter. That's something that I couldn't find listed in my little machines on the blank. But to me, it's kind of average. It's... Uh, not too thin at all, and it, it's comfortable for me. Um, super lightweight, 11 grams without the cap, 15.8 with a converter full of ink, you know, the whole thing, <laughs> soaking wet or whatever. Um, and then of course I said it posts very securely. Let's move this up because we don't want to start losing stuff. Can we get everything in? I think so, just barely. Okay. Um, I don't like things to be crooked, but it's really hard to see whether they are. Uh, I think, you know, price range being around $20, I've seen it more for some of these, even the ones that, that there are other designs, not just cats. Um, so I've seen it ridiculous, like on eBay and on uh, Amazon for like really too much for, for what I could pay, um, like $30 or $36. <clears throat> 11 a.m. Uh, availability, I would say not too easy. You know, I found it on Amazon, but I didn't like the prices elsewhere, and some were pre-owned. There was an exception. There was a good price pre-owned um, one day, you know. 
I don't think you can have much of a nib option. I didn't see it. And this one has a nice medium nib. But you know, that's a question to keep, okay. Does it come in fine? That's a question I need to try to answer. I did not see one, but I couldn't be sure. I just started exploring the online website though, and they have all kinds of, um, it shows like their full range of what they make, which if you were in Germany, you probably could find these in the grocery store, you know, hanging on little packs and easily, I, I would think. I, I wonder, but correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I, in my mind, I think, oh, that would be neat to be able to walk in and just buy them. It has the suggested grip and it has a clip and a pretty design. Okay, what I like, I, I love the cat motif. I love the super smooth nib. That's, you know, that's its number one feature. Any way you look at it, it's super smooth and it's a great writer. Um, I happen to like really lightweight pens, so that's uh, a like for me. <clears throat> Get a little crab to help out here. Um, and it's reliable. I've had it, you know, inked up for two months with no problems. In fact, I just went in and, you know, refilled it. I didn't even wash it between because it was flowing so smoothly. <clears throat> I don't like, over here on the other side, I don't like that there's no converter included because that's just one of my things. I do have questions about long-term durability. And, you know, there's a little quibble with the price being that it's so lightweight, but if it turns out to be durable, uh, then I wouldn't quibble anymore about a price around 20 or even 25 as long as it turns out to be durable enough and I don't have enough information. Uh, conclusions who will like well cat people of course will just you know how many there aren't that many pens that that feature something to do with a cat although I think there's some with the nib that have you know has a cat um, things like that don't even tell me about it because <laughs> I don't want to be tempted right now I'm thinking ages eight and over generally um, and I do have all those questions about how long you know it might last eBay has online slope, air, et cetera, for a reasonable price. Yeah, so eBay was carrying more of the online pens for reasonable prices, but I didn't really see this one at a reasonable price. So very, very much have to be a savvy shopper with this one, I think, and look around. Okay, so let's move over to the library and see if there's anything else <laughs> that we need to say. There, so I guess you can tell that I like this pen a lot and I'm not sorry about getting it. It's it's a good writer, a, a great writer actually. It's surprising, you know, um, and, and that's a good surprise to find another pen brand that has such uh, smooth nibs and to be, to be able to, uh, to get one and, and have it in my collection, especially with the cats on it. Um, so this kind of moved us uh, over we're still in the student pen category or, or children's or beginner pens. And yet this kind of moves over to someone who's, you know, in school in a little bit higher grade and a little bit older and maybe taking notes and really writing and writing. So um, I think that's good because it gives us plenty of variety. They're not all, um, this project is not all about just the, the youngest student pens like the Pelican Pelicano Jr. and, and the, the little bitty like the Lamy ABC and stuff, but it includes that. So I kind of, I think that'll, that'll keep me going all, all year because what are we now? Almost finished with April 2023. It's going fast, but I can see getting fatigued if we were doing the same category, you know, the same subcategory of student pens all the whole time. Uh, and I'm not getting bored. I really like this. I like um, uh, you know, delving into all the different types and uh, tried to slow down on my purchasing, which I have. I actually haven't been purchasing right now so that I could next time make deliberate choices um, of whatever we're missing, you know, for the project going forward when channel ad money appears like in May and, you know, whenever it does. Whoops, I feel something. Did I make it loose? No. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I could feel it moving or something, but it was just me, I think. Okay, so there you have it. Let me know in the comments what you think. 
And also, I would super love to hear about any other online models that you may have tried that you like, because I, I got my eye on this brand. They really know their nibs, especially. And then to make something so cute, um, there were other little designs too on Amazon that I didn't particularly care for. Uh, they looked a little wild, but anything with cats, of course, was going to grab me. So I'll go for now and I'll see you the next time, which shouldn't be too long. Um, I'm trying to work on a little bit of a personal update and uh, that will be coming soon. And I will see you soon and I'll definitely let's connect in the comments. Bye for now.